What's going on, y'all? It's your girl Liz at City Girl Craze, getting ready for another baking moment. And I'm gonna make some muffins today. You guys know I love a good muffin every day of the week, but I'm trying to keep it a little healthier these days since the weather's picking up. I'm trying to incorporate more healthy alternatives into my diet. You know, I gotta keep it right, keep it tight all the time. So, really quickly, I don't know if you guys heard about Fit Men Cook at Fit Men Cook on Instagram. Follow him. I've been following him for about a couple years now, and I really, really love his recipes. They're super simple, super nutritious, and super awesome. I actually even have his cookbook, so you guys should check him out when you get a chance on IG, all right? So today, I decided to take a look at the cookbook, and I'm like, you know what? What am I going to make? Because I feel like I always need a quick burst of energy at all times, especially since I'm working out a little heavier these days. I need to always consistently keep eating. It's crazy, but it works. Either way. So I'm gonna make the apple cobbler muffins that they look awesome, y'all. They look so good. I am so excited about this and let's get to work. I have a plethora of items going on over here. It's gonna be a lot to make these muffins, all right? We're doing them from scratch as always. And instead of using all-purpose flour, I'm gonna use whole wheat flour for this recipe as suggested per Kevin or AK Fitman Cook. So I got my dry ingredients ready to go and I'm gonna mix them up. I basically just combined whole wheat flour, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, and just a pinch of salt. So I'm just gonna mix this a little more and then I'm gonna get ready to get my wet ingredients ready, all right? So I don't wanna get my hands too dirty. I'm gonna add the vanilla extract and I'm adding up a teaspoon. All right, so we have added that. Eggs will get added in and we'll get mixed in as well, okay? Whisk our eggs real quickly, real quickly. And then he mentions that we should add um, sugar. So I got my little half cup of sugar right here and I'm gonna put it right in there and that's a lot of sugar, but Hopefully it works, okay? And that's how it should be looking right now. And I'm gonna add oil. According to Kevin's recipe, he suggests we use coconut oil. I actually do not have coconut oil at the moment, so I'm gonna just use regular olive oil. One third cup of olive oil, as you see right here, just dumping it in super, super simply, and I'm gonna keep a mix in, all right? So we added the olive oil, it is time to add our almond milk. All right, so we dump that in, and we're just gonna keep a mix in. Oh, and now we have to add the applesauce. I got my Trader Joe's applesauce ready to go and I'm gonna add about half a cup. So let's get to work. So I love this little Trader Joe's applesauce. It's awesome. It's actually already infused with some cinnamon. It's awesome because it is already half a cup anyways. It is four ounces. So I'm just gonna dump it in there. It's gonna give it a nice little taste. Okay. Messy time. All right, keep them, y'all. So we're almost done. We have the wet ingredients and the dry ingredients ready to go, but now we gotta get our apple ready. Kevin wants me to grate an apple. I'm gonna use a pink lady apple today to see how that goes. I like these because they're a little tarty, so hopefully it'll give the muffin a little bit of tartness. So let's get to work and let's get to grating. And I got my little grater right here, so. And to be straight up with you, I don't really like apple and any type of sweets, desserts, pies of any kind. I'm really not into the apple consistency in the desserts or the sweets, it's just not for me, but I'm gonna give it a chance today and Kevin suggests that we use about one cup of the grated apple. I'm just gonna add one apple in there. I don't know if that's gonna yield a cup of shreds, but I'm gonna just have one apple because uh, I'm big on my consistency and I'm not, you know, mm, you know, let me not yuck my yum and let me relax. So I got my apple grated, I'm ready to go. So it's now time to combine the dry and the wet ingredients. So let's get to work, y'all. All right, guys, so we're gonna start to slowly combine everything together. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of our wet mixture into the dry ingredients real quick. All right, slowly, little by little, okay. Oh, oh, it's getting messy. And let me get a spatula to combine, okay? Oh, sorry. Just combining until I see no more lumpiness around the batter. Guys, so Kevin mentioned that if it felt a little dry to add just a little more almond milk, so I'm gonna add just a little more, okay? And we're gonna keep combining in these apple slices. So let's do that now. All right, let's combine it. So we're just gonna fold them in, all right, guys? So the batter is nicely combined now, but we are still not done. We need to create the topping for the muffin. So let's get to work. And I already started the process for y'all. My little container here, I have crushed walnuts, oatmeal, sugar, and a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil into this to make it a little lumpy. And then I'm gonna put on top of the muffin. All right, y'all, just adding a little bit of this olive oil to the topping um, before I combine it all together. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. And let me get something to mix this with. So check it out. And I'm just going to mix it really, oh, shoot. I'm just going to mix it really quickly, y'all. Nothing fancy. So I added two tablespoons. And there's a lot of sugar in here. It smells really good. 
but it's not really coming together with the oil. I should have added a little bit of butter, but that's okay. We're trying to make these as healthy as possible, all right? All right, so my oven is about to get ready, but the topping is not as combined as I want it to be. It's still very, very grainy, but I mean, we're trying to do it a little healthy today. So I'm going to trust Kevin on this and I'm going to see how it goes, but I did not use butter. Usually when I put a oh. topping, I like to combine it with butter. This time we did it with olive oil. So we'll see how it goes. And let me get ready to add this batter to the muffin pan now. Getting this batter ready to go. You know how I do it? Nothing fancy, okay? And I got to hurry up. And I'm telling you, these smell amazing. I don't like apple, but this might be the first time I'm making an apple dessert, okay? Besides my apple cider donuts that didn't really contain apple pieces, okay? It was apple cider, but we won't judge, all right? So I'm just getting my pan ready, y'all. All right, y'all, so the batter has been added. Now time to add this topping, all right? So I'm just going to do it very gently right on the top of each muffin and... Yeah, it's going to get a little messy, but you know, it is what it is. You just got to keep it pushing. All right. And I wanted to be a little fancy. Kevin only said to add walnuts. I added my honey roasted almonds that I love from Trader Joe's. Okay. As well. So we'll see how it goes. And don't mind my little baby in the background. She's excited for these muffins. So we'll see how this goes. All right, guys. So the muffins are ready to go into the oven. And we're going to bake these for about 25 to 30 minutes. I know super, super lengthy, but... I'm gonna trust Kevin on this, all right? So let's get to work and I'll get back to you guys shortly once these babies are done. But they smell so good, y'all. And according to Kevin, y'all, he mentions that this recipe should yield about 15 muffins. Your girl only made 12 because, you know, I like my muffins a little fat. You know, they gotta be a little thick sometimes. But we'll see how it goes. Um, they're in the oven now, so I'll keep you guys posted. All right, guys, so the muffins are out of the oven and honestly, the aromas in the house are so phenomenal right now. I'm telling you, it smells like so much beautiful cinnamon and apple. It's just, it smells so damn good. But let me show you real quick. All right, so let's wait a couple minutes on these bad boys because they honestly smell amazing. And the topping is once again, oatmeal, walnuts, almonds, and yeah, and sugar. That was really about it. So let's see how it goes. And I'll keep you guys posted on this taste test. All right, y'all, so without further ado, let's get into this taste test. The muffins are done. They have cooled down and my house still smells amazing. My husband already ate like two of them joints. Let me try one before he eats the rest. All right, so here we go. Check out that little baby right there. Ooh, you see the oats all over. I'm not going to lie. The topping did really look nice on these, okay? I'm not even going front. But once you took them out of the muffin pan, the topping was starting to fall all over the place. It was kind of annoying. So I might need to find another product. Maybe the coconut oil will hold it all together a little better. But the olive oil, you know, it did its job, but I needed a little more. But either way, let's get into this taste test, y'all. But it looks very pretty, y'all. Not gonna lie, it looks great. The apple cobbler muffin. All right, let's see how it goes. Mm. Okay, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Let me a little tissue. It's a hit. It's a hit. It's a real, real hit over here. Okay. And let me let you. Let me give you a peek of the inside real quick real quick it's a good muffin it's a really tasty muffin i can't even even taste the apples maybe because i didn't put a full cup of apples i think i might have done like half a cup of the shredded apples if i would have had more apple it probably would have given me like a nasty taste but that's just me i don't really like apples like that in my baked goods but i'm not gonna lie it's really good you got a lot of graininess from the oats on top which i kind of like so i'm not even hating on it and i think that's why he decided to add the sugar as part of the topping as well to dilute that graininess, but my mouth is watering. It's a good muffin, y'all. I'm not even gonna front. Well, I will say though that I can honestly do without the topping. Like I could just pop the muffins just like that without having the topping. That I feel like I need a cup of milk right now. Like it's is that thick, is that grainy that you want a cup of milk because of the topping. But the breading itself is is pretty good. It's great. I love it. But once again, it was a hit, y'all. Shout out to Fitman Cook, you know, on IG. Follow them. Follow Kevin Curry. I will be making the apple cobbler muffins again. And probably adding a little more apple just to see how that's going to change it up a bit. But it's an overall good muffin, all right? And I'm happy with the outcome. But yes, guys, that's how we do it over here. Another muffin moment with your girl is at City Girl Craves. Thanks again for tuning in, y'all. I really appreciate the support. And get into it, all right? Take care.